I'm Paul Inkpin, editor of RunMag, and we're out here on a perfect day having a little test run in the brand new New Balance Fuel Cell Propel V4. We're on to another great shoe in this whole new era of super shoes, feedback shoes, a whole great line of shoes that are designed to project the runner forwards, take energy back from the stride, and basically create comfort, minimalism, lightweight, and faster speeds, more enjoyment of running. Less tech, more benefit. Right here, we've got the New Balance Fuel Cell Propel, which in my mind is an excellent value. Racing shoe or trainer racer, depending who you are. We'll talk a little bit about that. So this shoe has an upper which is uncomplicated. It's strong. Once your foot's in it, it doesn't bend much on the, on the run, so you don't have that irritating, slightly niggling sort of sense on top. It doesn't have a molded tongue. The tongue is a loose tongue, which some people prefer because it obviously makes the shoe very quick and easy to get out of, apart from having a flared heel cap. Then there are a few aspects about the shoe. So it's got a molded TPU plate, all right? That's not a carbon plate, but it is a plate, which means it's designed to give you more stability in the midfoot and to project you forward. That midpoint, that end point of that plate is actually quite far back which means you don't have to go far past the midpoint to get the projection. There's a toe heel drop of six mils. So we've got 31 mils at the back, 25 at the front. It looks a little bit more because obviously it's got the slight guide rail uh, outer, okay? So it looks like a really high stack height, but actually that's not really high. And so bigger runners, heavier runners, will definitely benefit from a sense of comfort and stability and support. You might find a lighter runner finds the front uh, amount of uh, cushioning a little bit excessive but at the same time a super heavy runner who's heavy on the hill might struggle a little bit because it's very minimalist outlet outer which means there's a whole, not a whole lot of protection here but obviously that reduces the weight speaking of weight this shoe comes in at our size at just over 300 grams i gotta say it feels a whole lot less this shoe feels 260 270 it's a lightweight shoe on the foot and as such Again, I would say it's a great shoe for racing, but you could obviously do your high tempo workouts in this too. If you really want the sense of a fast propulsion carbon plate, then you'd probably go for the Fuel Cell Elite version 3, which we've reviewed recently. Twice the price, but again, if that's what you're looking for, you buy the right shoe for the right job. So, really enjoyed the shoe. There's a few aspects. It's a little narrow. If you've got a really wide foot, you're probably going to find it a little bit claustrophobic. If you look there from the top, you can see that it flares outwards on the front, on both sides. That gives you a sense of stability. That, that's slightly like a guardrail, all right? But at the same time, I mean, I've got a fairly wide foot. I wasn't uncomfortable in them, but that's something to think about when you try them on. There's definitely a forward propulsion. From uh, Given the midsole point of the TPU plate, as opposed to being far forward, like some of the more carbon plated super shoes, this really caters to a midfoot striker. A heavy heel striker might struggle and not quite feel that the shoe provides the support they require, but certainly a midfoot striker, this is spot on. Six mils toe heel drop is not a whole lot. Comes in a couple of different colorways. We, there's this black one, there's the white one. They look great. So New Balance comes into the party now with a couple of options in the whole new generation of running shoes. Obviously they come from a, a different type of history. It's a very mainstream shoe. Everybody's a fan of New Balance. A lot of people have New Balance shoes. The cushioning has changed. This is now the fuel cell cushioning, which is the range of the Elite Carbon shoe or the more affordable, but really, really quick feeling Propel V4. It's a big step up from the V3. You're gonna find it different. It's without a question worth trying on. If you're in a running shop, give these puppies a try. Try them on, you know that if a shoe doesn't feel right in the shop, it's unlikely to ever feel right outside. But this shoe, as much as I am a bigger runner, perhaps slight heel, heel striker, I, as soon as I put these on, I was moving into the front forefoot and I sensed that I would wear these in a race without hesitation. So the downsides, perhaps just a slightly narrower, uh, less protected heel, okay? Not the lightest or molded tongue. 
again, we're talking about milligrams. You want to go for a super light shoe, probably the, the Fuel Cell uh, V3 Elite. Uh, otherwise, honestly, all the benefits of the dual-sided outer, it's a one-piece uh, cushioned uh, sole. It's not a two-piece. So there are people, maybe a, a very light runner, might feel it's excessively cushioned. That sense of feeling slightly uh, gummy, sort of squishy. Um, again, horses for courses. People like different feelings. New Balance has a massive range of shoes, right through the range. So pick the shoe that's right for you. But I would say hats off to New Balance. I think they've nailed the competitive end of competition in terms of pricing and product quality for a person seeking a comfortable, fast ride.